Hello, I'm Sean from Threads That Bind. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Misty Fuse with your punch needle patterns to fuse onto a background fabric. I've done that technique in this pattern number 729, Winter Nest. Um, you can use it on any punch needle pattern that you would want to have a fabric background instead of punching the entire background. So in this pattern, you take your weaver's cloth with your screen printed design on it. And because I screen print these, this ink is heat set. And so I don't recommend ironing directly onto that. And so I like to give the back of the piece a quick steam to get any of the folds out. And then I layer this product called Misty Fuse. We sell this on our website. You can find it in supplies. This is kind of like this little spider webby kind of glue stuff that you just layer it there. And then you take the back side of the cotton that's going to be the background of your piece. And you iron the three together. If you're counting the Missy Fuse three, there's the, the weaver's cloth pattern, the Misty Fuse, and then in this case, dark cotton. But you could use on any other any other type of uh, cotton, I've, I've always used cotton fabric. And that's it. The three of these are fused together now like one. Um, and then you'd let it cool, of course, a little bit. And then you'd go ahead and put that in your hoop like it's a very simple process. You just put it in the hoop like you do any other time and you start punching on the design and then it'll come through onto the black cotton. I'll show you just a quick example so you can see how that would work. and let you see how those punches come through, leaving the black cotton as your background. And that's all there is to doing that. Square outline on the design is what I use as a guide to cut this down for framing. I put a measuring um, ruler there at an inch and a half and I cut off all the sides. Well On this ruler, there is a 45 degree measure, measurement, I guess you'd call it, that I put onto each of the corners so that And that's really what that what that line was for was for framing to give you so you knew where how the design was centered in that. And then I have this six by six sticky mounting board that I place on the center back. Push it down. 
And then I'm going to go around and sew each corner. Pull them back and sew them together until you have each one of them sewed. And then it would fit. in the frame, just like that. I hope this helps. Have a good day.